I had some familiarity with the Ardenong songs uh, because Jamie Tate had hired me to do a recording session, I'd say about a year ago, and we did one of the Ardenong songs. But I wasn't familiar with how many versions and the scope of how many types of Ardenong songs there were, so this was a nice surprise for me. Uh, I really enjoyed working on my arrangement. It was a real challenge because the version that I did was a very, very traditional version, which is a based on a pentatonic scale, so it, it's um, very idiomatic and not very Western. So the challenge was the client had said, make it into a David Benoit song. And, you know, those are two different universes. Uh, so the challenge was how do I make it into one of my songs but still maintain the feeling of the Korean feeling of Arian. So I was very happy with how it came out and how well everybody played. Well, I hope that it will be embraced by the world. I hope too that maybe the rest of the world will learn more about Korean culture and the Korean music because we've been able to fuse it and westernize it a bit so it might become, it might sound more familiar to the Western audience but still maintain uh, the beauty of the Korean music. So hopefully more people will be exposed to uh, the beauty of Korean music. And I'd also like to thank Mr. Hong Min Ho and to Korea for making this wonderful project possible. Uh, when we hear these arirangs, the different feelings, I think, um, it uh, evokes our happiness, everything from happiness to sadness, to longing, to loneliness, to uh, hopefulness uh, for when the people come back. Um, so I think it runs the gamut of all the emotions. Um, when we do the different fast songs that are in major, it makes us feel a little bit happier. We have some that are a little slower, more legato and somber and minor keys. It makes us feel the harsh emotions of people going away and the stories behind the Arirangs. I think one of the unique things the Edge Effect brings to this project is the heavy vocal influence. We all have come from a heavy vocal background, whether it be a cappella with bands, um, every different style, the different Arirangs. We do a jazz one, we do a Brazilian one, we do a hip hop one, and everyone has that six part cool, heavy vocal thing infused into it, so. I love kimchi. I think I'm, it's amazing. I love it. Arirang fighting! Capitol Records is one of my favorite studios to work in in the world, actually. It's a combination of the acoustic spaces being phenomenally designed and the microphone collections being one of the best in the world, as well as the staff being top notch. There are so many different versions of these Arirangs and they all bring forth a different emotion in me. I'm really enjoying the diversity of the emotions that I get from the different versions. I hope the Sang Song Chige will be enjoyed forever. Yum. <laughs> I sincerely hope that these Arirangs are embraced by the entire world. I really enjoy doing live to two tracks with a large group of musicians. It, you not only capture the excitement of the musical moment, but also the mix of the mixer. So that's one of my favorite ways to make a record. Capitol is an incredibly special place, and I, I tell people, you know, I've performed here so many times over the years with different artists and different recordings and films, and, but every time I walk into this room, I get a little lump in my throat, and I, I get, you know, I get excited just because there's so much history here. I mean, everyone from, from Dean Martin to Frank Sinatra and Judy Garland, and not to mention that it's just an amazing room. It sounds incredible. The staff's great. So it's, it's always just an incredibly special place to be, and to get to produce something here is even more special. Before Hyunsung called me about working on this, when I was very young in high school band, actually, here in America, 
I, we performed Arirang as part of a suite for a concert band in high school, and it was called Variations on a Korean Folk Song. I didn't know it was called Arirang, I just knew the melody and knew the song. Arirang is obviously a very emotional song, um, and all the different versions throughout all the different regions of Korea, be it, you know, Gangwon-do or Jin-do, they, uh, they all have a different feeling. Um, and when I listen to them, you can hear a longing, uh, a sorrow, but also, at the same time, some of them are kind of playful. Uh, some of them are very um, uh, sophisticated sounding. They're, it's a really diverse song. There's just so many different ways that you can listen to it. And uh, it's got such a beautiful soaring melody. I, I just think it's gorgeous. And it, it's a, I think music should evoke a emotion, an emotion no matter what. And Arirang definitely does that. <laughs> Thank you.